So, are we expecting the rest of our party shortly? Yes, they, they are expected presently. Yeah. Their, um, their arrival is in the offing. Right. Well, we do have a table for two available. Perhaps you'd be more comfortable. No, they're coming. We're waiting right here. Joseph. <laughs> One needn't worry. They, they shan't be long. It's just that we do have some large parties waiting. Oh, one really does have a stick up one's ass, doesn't one? <laughs> How can you smoke in this day and age? Have you not seen that ad? Huh, where the little kid walks through Grandpa? It's chilling. I messed up. It was a meeting. Everybody was smoking. So what? Don't you have any willpower? Willpower? I've watched home movies of you eating ding-dongs without taking the tinfoil off. <laughs> Okay, look, can we just drop this? I'm not gonna smoke again. That's right, because I forbid you to smoke again. You forbid me? Mm-hmm. You know, I've flown a long way to see my loving wife. Is she here, by the way? Don't joke with me, okay? I'm very, very upset right now. Oh, would you say this is the most upset you could be? I think so. Well, then I might as well do this. Not really sure what to do now. Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're already late for Phoebe's birthday dinner. So you're going to put out that cigarette, we're gonna put this fight on hold, and go have sex. Fine. What? Sex! This is the last day that I'm ovulating, and if we, if we don't do it now, then we're gonna have to wait till next month. You're serious? Oh, yeah! All right, fine. I'll do it, but no talking. <gasps> and no cuddling. And no kissing your neck. Oh, good. I hate it when you do that. <laughs> and lots of kissing your neck. OK, well, the super's not home. Oh. But, but hey, you know what? My mother's going to be here in a minute, and she has the key. I can't, I can't wait that long. You have to do something. Knock that door down. I would, but I bruise like a peach. <laughs> Besides, uh, you know, everything's going to be fine. The, the baby's sleeping. What if she jumped out of the bassinet? Can't hold her own head up, but yeah, jumped. <laughs> oh, my God. I left the water running. Wait, you did not leave the water running. Please, just, just pull yourself together, okay? Wait, did, did I leave the stove on? You haven't cooked since 1996. Oh. <laughs> Is the window open? Because if the window's open, a bird could fly in there. And... Oh, my God. You know what? I think you're right. I think, you know, wait, listen, listen. A, a pigeon. No, no way, no, no. An eagle flew in, landed on the stove, and caught fire. The baby, seeing this, jumps across the apartment to the mighty bird's aid. The eagle, however, misconstrues this as an act of aggression and grabs the baby in its talon. Meanwhile, the faucet fills the apartment with water. Baby and bird, still ablaze, are locked in a death grip, swirling around the whirlpool that fills the apartment. Boy, are you gonna be sorry if that's true. Hello. Hi. It's been an hour. The maitre d' has asked if you'd be willing to reconsider switching to a smaller table. Maybe we should just eat now. You can't order until the entire party has arrived. Restaurant policy. Well, how about this? Another table leaves, right? But there's still some food left on their plates. OK, what's the restaurant's policy about people eating that? It's frowned upon. But it happens. You can't go. No, no, no. I can't. I can't hold this table on my own. If they ask me to move, I'll cave. Well, if you ask me to stay, I'll pee. <laughs> Good evening, miss. <laughs> miss. <laughs> miss. Miss. Okay, I'm fine. I'll move. All right. You don't have to manhandle me. Where? Okay. Thank you. Wow. Finally, you guys made it. 